for this one, I, I, I couldn't really think of a nice starting picture to do for this. Because it's really about the, how, like, how a conflict evolved into something bigger to allow one thing to happen. Like how they went, as World War One went on, the Ottomans basically tried to get rid of and erase the Armenian minority of basically Christians that were in the Ottoman Empire, in Armenia or whatever. That was considered one of the first genocides of period 6 or of the 1900s in the new a the new era that we were in. And I think the same thing also happened in World War II with the Holocaust with the Jewish and the killing of like over 12, over 10 million. I'll just go with a nice estimate that I know will be under the correct one and say over because then it can't defend anyone. And then there's like places like Cambodia with the killing fields and Rwanda with the Hutus and Tutsis as that conflict embroiled on and more and more Tutsis were killed by the majority Hutus. But one thing we can see in all of these is that there's always a minority and that minority is generally the one killed in the conflicts. So let me draw a nice picture for this. So let's say there's a man here, and that he has, he has another man with him. Maybe there's a few men. They're all generally the same. They're stick figures. There, there, there's a few of them. And then, uh, let's say th the British come in, the Brits, and say these two are leaders. So with these two are leaders, these people are part of them. So then they're like, they all get jobs. And they all get jobs. But then, there's a big majority over here who get smaller say, which is why they're smaller. See what I did there? I, I drew them smaller so I could represent that. And there's a lot of them. And let's just keep doing this. And there's like a really a lot of them. I mean, this doesn't explain every big uh, conflict that goes on, but this more explains like the Rwandan conflict between the Hutus and Tutsis. Because these guys being like the Tutsis, and I don't think it was the British at all which did this. So this, this is just an example. I, I don't. This example didn't happen in real life. I don't think. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. And then the, these people are like, what? <laughs> so then like, the British are like, then the British, they leave. Like, oh yeah. And then there's like, elections. And then, after the elections, oh, these people are no longer leaders. And this guy is a leader. Since all these guys over here, all these guys, well, uh, and he also voted for himself, voted for him. So he is now the leader, and he's like, these people did not treat us nicely. And because of that, let's just finish writing this out. Let's kill them. And so, so it's that, this person dies, this person dies, this person dies, this person dies, this person dies. This is like a Game of Thrones episode right now, and this person dies. And then there's all the other minorities around here, imagine that. They like try to flee out of the country over here. And then like a lot of people die, like some of these people die fighting in it. And that's basically... As it goes on, more and more people die, and it just ends up turning to a genocide like the Rwandan one, or Holocaust, etc. I mean, it was different from places like Nazi Germany because it was after World War One, after anger. And they're like, we need a scapegoat. Jews. So they framed it on the Jews. <laughs> Brainwashed people into thinking that. Killed ten, more than 10 million of them. 
and and you know you know the history of it. And that's basically how it happens. This is probably gonna be my longest one. Isn't this great? Also, I had to say, the birthday cake I've been eating, it's fantastic. Genociding birthday cake. They always go together.